Are hey, y'all ready to get this started? Three, two, one. Hey, y'all know what time it is. You know what it is. You are now tuning into the best business radio program in Central VA. Turn it up. On the mic with Mike. ESPN Richmond, on the mic with Mike, the best business radio program around. I'm your host, Mike King. You can find us here daily, 5 to 7 a.m., on ESPN Richmond, which is 106.1. We are part of the Mike King Biz Radio Network, but we are here today, Mike King, the next shore, and this event is called? RVA Feel Good Summit. And why are we here today? We are here to let you all, our listeners, know about the great things that are going on in our community. We have wonderful nonprofits here, and we also have those in the community who help those nonprofits do the work they're doing. So very excited about the panel here today. Wait, Nanette Shore, she is a radio personality. <laughs> But no, 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 that is the truth. Okay, so really quickly, the idea behind this is business can help society be better. The folks in the room with us today believe that they are from nonprofits as well as from business, and we're going to talk about their partnerships. We're going to give them a, a little bit of time to tell who they are, and then we're going to jump into it. And we're going to end up with the question I always ask is, what gives you hope? All righty? So you uh, can prepare now. You that's right. The the that's question. right. We're giving you the answers. All righty, we're going to start off Erica Porter from... Endorphasm. Oh, you did it good. Thank you, thank you. You did thank it good. So I'm Erica Porter. I founded the Endorphasm Foundation during COVID. Um, out of necessity, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer in June of 2020. And what I realized in a diagnosis is that there is no point during a diagnosis that you are empowered as the individual. You relinquish all of your control to the medical community and hope that they get it right. And in hoping that they get it right, there's a little bit of despair and hopelessness that happens. And I know firsthand that there is a portion that could be treatment plan, changing our healthcare system, recruiting oncologists to have patients move through cancer. So the Endorphasm Foundation is recruiting and engaging the oncologists or the uh, oncologists, clinicians, all of them, nurse practitioners, to empower their patients to move through cancer. The Endorphasm Foundation then has vetted certified cancer exercise specialists across the US that can have these services available at no cost to the patient and their families, because it's not just the patient that is affected. So that is what we do in a nutshell. That is what we do. All right, good morning. Uh, I'm Chris Mayfield. I'm the founder of Profusion Consulting. Uh, so uh, the reason we're in uh, this kind of business and support nonprofits is what, what we do at, at Profusion, uh, what we're the best at is creating great businesses. Nonprofits are a business. Uh, so you know, we're exceptional at, at creating strong businesses, uh, enduring businesses, resilient businesses. But what we don't do is support cancer patients. What we don't do is do food cl and clothing collections and distribution, and we don't do those things. But those things are important to us. So when we started Perfusion a few years ago, we said, how, how can we best uh, leverage what we do best uh, to make the most impact? So uh, we formed ourselves as a B Corp, which means we donate all of our profits to charity. So uh, you know, that's why we're here. Uh, we believe that individual contribution and contribution of individual companies inside of a community is what makes a community great or what makes a community fail. Uh, and we can see great examples of both uh, across the United States. Uh, so uh, we're here to support nonprofits. Uh, we don't have a box. Uh, we, at the end of the year, what we do is we see, uh, engage a board of five experts and the community experts uh, to, and evaluate where uh, our donation will have the most impact. So, uh, you know, it's Chris Mayfield at Perfusion. Uh, we create great businesses uh, that we hope then support great communities. Thank you. All right. Hi there. Uh, my name's Tom Leahy, and uh, we have a foundation called Beacon Tree. And uh, what we do is we support families that have children struggling with mental illness. Um, back in 2008, uh, Diana and I, uh, coming out of an experience of raising three daughters, uh, all struggling with mental illness, 
decided that we were being trained for something and we figured that training was about helping other families so that they didn't have to go through the emotional and financial difficulties that we did trying to figure out what it was all about. So uh, Beacon Tree Foundation addresses the hurdles that families face when trying to get their children help. The first obviously is stigma. So we do a lot of educational events, advocate, advocacy events to try to create a more loving environment so parents feel comfortable and safe in raising their hand and saying my child has mental illness and I need help. If they're brave enough to raise their hand, um, the next hurdle is where do you go to get help? Is you know access to services. Uh, the people who operate in the mental health community locally, uh, even regionally, uh, don't market, they don't advertise. So how do you find what's available, what's appropriate? So we, in conjunction with Virginia Treatment Center for Children back in 2008, when we, we began, we uh, created a steering committee and out of that came the Children's Mental Health Resource Center, which is down at uh, Virginia Treatment Center for Children. Um, and that is an access for families to enter the mental health community here in Virginia. Um, so instead of making 50 phone calls or spending 50 hours on the internet trying to figure it out, one call, that's all, not to steal a line from one of our legal firms here in town. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, uh, it's true. Navigator answers the phone, puts their arm around that family, figuratively leads them to the right provider through a huge database that's uh, been developed there and follows them through that process. Um, so access, third hurdle and the biggest, and this is where we really play in a unique um, sandbox, and that's paying for those services because private insurance falls wayfully short when it comes to mental health coverage. And so we will step in through our family assistance program and gap fund for mental health services. We pay the provider, um, so, you know, they're working with a family, uh, they've got a plan in place or they need an evaluation. Insurance won't pay for it, only pay part of it. They can come to us for the remainder because we want to make sure that that child gets seamless care. And the early we do, do that, the better. Early intervention gives us a greater chance of short-circuiting mental illness. Um, and that's what we're all about. Hi everybody, welcome and good morning. I'm Vicki Ryan, the Executive Director of Podium RVA. Uh, we do writing, communication, and leadership programs for middle schoolers, for high schoolers, and recent graduates all across Greater Richmond. So what that looks like, uh, we do weekly, year-round workshops. We do publications such as zines in our annual literary journal. We do showcases like community events and celebrations, open mic nights. We do teen professional development such as internships and conferences. Um, and we are really here to support educational equity in our area. Um, so join us and be part of the writing revolution, www.podiumrva.org. I've got to give a shout out to our good friend, Kim Neely. Always give a shout out to Kim Ely. <laughs> yes. Well, good morning. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm a gift officer with Massey Cancer Center. And we are the only uh, National Cancer Institute designated cancer center in the greater Richmond area and on one of only two in Virginia. Um, our goal is to eradicate cancer. And in the process of that, we are conducting clinical trials and uh, coming up with new treatments and innovative research and providing comprehensive care for patients and their families, um, as well as support through integrative health programs. Uh, we have a very uh, dynamic uh, health equity and disparities research program um, and just doing a lot more outreach in the community as well as building a new adult outpatient facility downtown um, that is going to be state-of-the-art with new equipment and treatment that's opening later this year um, and we have actually two uh, challenge grants that we've recently uh, received for that building so looking for um, any support for those challenge grants as we provide this uh, treatment for cancer patients throughout Virginia hey Ashby Price I am founder of Ashwood Financial Partners I actually founded my firm at the beginning of the pandemic uh, so I for me, um, I manage retirement plans and in investment endowments for nonprofits. And one of my focuses is really going out and educating the employee base because there's been such a lack of financial education in high school and in college. 
So going out and meeting with the employees one-on-one -on -one makes a significant impact in their lives and the organization's lives as well. And for me, I'm very involved with Richmond Habitat for Humanity. Habitat offers a hand up and not a hand out. It actually transitions families out of poverty and into home ownership. And I am a funding father for the Relationship Foundation of Virginia. So I'm one of 11 this year, and the Relationship Foundation of Virginia actually provides resources to families in need and really helps uh, strengthen families and marriages and our community. And for me, I'm a native of Richmond. I, I started volunteering when I was in high school. I was a mentor to some underprivileged boys. It made a significant positive impact in their life and in my life as well. I've continued to give back to my nonprofit clients through volunteering and financially, and I sit on a few nonprofit boards so I can actually take my experience um, sitting on those boards and, and transition that to my clients as well. So Ashby Price. Hi, um, I'm Chef Michelle Wilson of Mom Michelle's Cafe. I have a cafe in Midlothian, Virginia. Also, uh, I am the uh, founder of the parking lot pull-up, I guess you could say, uh, <laughs> as well as the show The Culture Mix Experiment. Uh, I am not a nonprofit. However, I do have a passion for people's journeys, and I do mentor uh, people who are trying to get themselves in position of ownership or in, in culinary. Uh, also, I support the arts, um, and, and the cafe has become somewhat of an incubator for artists here locally in Richmond, all types of artists. The parking lot pull-up demonstrates that by inviting anyone in the community to come and get on the mic and enjoy themselves, and we have lots of fun and lots of food, and, uh, and basically that's, that's where I am right now. And on top of that, and on top of that, she is. She's my business mentor. I am she Mike's takes those mentor. Crazy calls at 6 mm, yes. Like, yes. My husband side eyes me yes, a lot. Exactly. Yeah. Mike's <laughs> the Good morning, my name is Shanae LeBeau. I'm with Elephant Insurance. Um, I am a people development manager there, but also recently um, the committee chair for the Helping Herd Initiative, um, which is an employee-driven COVID relief initiative focused on investing $300,000 back into the community. So something very exciting. Um, so looking forward to share more with you all. And I know we have some applicants here and some recipients, and so we're so excited to be able to do such a grand thing for the community. Hi, I'm Joyce Bronson. I'm with the McShin Foundation. Um, we are a recovery resource foundation in Richmond, but we actually um, accept individuals from throughout the United States. Uh, addiction, uh, alcohol and drug addiction doesn't just affect the families and the individual, it also affects the communities. So what we do is we actually um, help individuals, you know, find them a program. We offer programs as well as sober living, but if we're not able to assist, we get them plugged in with someone who can. So our, we focus on never saying no. You know, if someone calls us and is ready for help, we make sure we get them connected with help. Um, we also, you know, put on events for the community. Uh, for example, on September 11th, we've got Recovery Fest, which is a great, um, it's a really big uh, sort of like cookout and, you know, a way the community and individuals in recovery can get together and people in recovery can have a safe environment. Um, thank you. <laughs> One of the things I want to say about mm -hmm. my shit is when an organization is successful, you don't even think about you guys with recovery. Mm -hmm. It's like you support the community. So that's when you really know that you're above your specialty, that you just become a, a community servant. I'm over here without a microphone. Am I good? <laughs> good morning. I am Andrea Starr. I am the CEO of Forward Foundation. Um, we launched at the beginning, uh, actually right before the pandemic, so we are about two years old. And we work to assist single working parents that have encountered a life-altering event which has resulted in a financial crisis. So not only are we assisting them through a very uh, tumultuous, tumultuous, tumult, I 
can't even talk now, tumultuous time. Um, but we are providing support, we are providing encouragement, we are providing education, and we are providing the financial assistance to um, allow them the opportunity to keep working. So we are the only organization um, in the state, um, possibly in the country, that is providing financial assistance to parents that do not qualify for assistance through the state. So basically they are on paper making too, you know, too high of an income and are not qualifying for these services. So we are filling that gap to make sure that these families are able to continue to work and continue to provide for their children. In addition to providing that financial subsidy for the child care, we are providing them educational resources to provide themselves and their children with the educational resources that they need to become financially stable and independent. And ultimately, that is, that is the goal. So we can, break, um, we can break that cycle of financial illiteracy um, and provide them the resources that they need. So Andrea Starr with Forward Foundation. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Jess Burgess, and I am the executive director at Dogtown Dance Theater. Um, we are located in Manchester, which is right across the river in South Richmond. Um, we are in our 11th year as a nonprofit organization, and we provide resources for independent dance artists so that they can create and present their work. Um, you know, I moved to Richmond actually just because I heard I had a cool art scene, and I thought I would live here for a year or two. Um, and then I fell in love with the city and I fell in love with what was happening in Richmond and I just knew that I could do more. And so when the opportunity to work at Dogtown came along, I just jumped at it and really took my experience as an independent dancer to help build the programs that we have. So our year-long program is the Artist Resource Program and what that really does is provide entrepreneurial resources for dance artists to create their own careers. Um, you know, in, in academia or even growing up in a studio, you're taught how to plie and tondu and batama and all these great things, but you're never taught how to budget or how to market and the things that are really gonna make you a successful independent dance artist in, the, in a community. Um, but then we also wanna give back to the artists that are, that are creating work and presenting work and, you know, and, and, and making Richmond culturally vibrant. Um, and we do that through our main stage performance series, which we host three um, large performances every year. Um, in the fall, we have our Dogtown Presenter Series, which really aims to elevate the choreographic career of an emerging Richmond uh, dance artist. And then in uh, February, March, it depends on when Easter hits every year, we um, host Mardi Gras RVA, which is a big community celebration. The idea behind that, it's our longest running event, but the idea behind that was to get the Manchester community involved in what we were doing down there. Um, we were new, we wanted to get them involved and get them in, in our doors and seeing what the artists had. And then um, we have the Richmond Dance Festival, which is a three week, three week long um, expose of just exceptional choreography. Uh, you'll see Richmond choreographers, but then regional choreographers. Um, some has, have come as far as Zimbabwe. So um, we're excited to be here for the summit today and thank you for having us. So I am Jimmy Comer, co-owner of RBI Services and Community First. Um, RBI Services was formed to help small businesses with the headaches of small business, which are our accounting, payroll, and insurance. Um, my specialty has always been with the nonprofits, and we didn't want RBI to be thought of as only a nonprofit uh, focused company. So we created Community First, which is a nonprofit focused company. Uh, we can offer services at reduced cost through Community First, well, except for insurance, state gets mad when I try and do that. But, <laughs> um, but the accounting and the payroll, you know, Chris gets upset because if you talk to me, sometimes my pricing's better than his pricing. <laughs> but the other thing Community First can help with is. Uh, board consulting, I'm a certified board consultant. So we help you understand the business side of your nonprofit because a nonprofit is ultimately a small business as many have learned over the last 18 months. Okay. Just, if you'd like, you'd just, uh, to get down like this. Uh, 
I'm Peter Larson with Cobb Technologies, and Cobb Technologies is a Richmond-based, family-owned office technology company for 31 years. And I'm here for two reasons. One, we, in 2016, formed our own separate self-funded 501c3 called Imprint. And what Imprint does is to, it, we provide food for rural students who don't eat on the weekends and childhood literacy. So we partner with Backpacks of Love to do that. And that, that has, um, we packed over 15,000 bags of food since 2016. People in the community, I think you've been there, different folks, of course, uh, Andrea Starr has. And so that's the first reason. And then the second reason is I personally serve nonprofits with the absolute lowest price <laughs> for uh, leasing or purchasing copier or printer equipment. You cannot get lower than the pricing I have for nonprofits only, only. So those are the two reasons. One is imprint, and then secondly is the pricing on that. So Peter Larson, Cobb Technologies. You also uh, MC a few things. Do you know your way around a microphone? Yeah, I do. I like yeah. He does know his way around a microphone. I know my king, but... I am no Peter Larson. But that's it. Okay, so really, we just like to thank our sponsors for helping us be here. Chris Mayfield, uh, Profusion. My partner, Nanette Shore, this thing does not happen without her uh, celebrating the community. Okay, we're going to start off with, we we'll always talk about the small nonprofits. Patty Jackson, we're going to start with you. When you have a big name like you are, people, folk, they think, ah, those guys don't need our help. Is that true? No, not true at all. We, uh, <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> We are big, but we uh, certainly need everybody's help. Um, you know, I think the, the thing about cancer is that, unfortunately, everybody experiences it in some way, either personally or with a family member or friend. And in our lifetime, one out of two men and one out of three women will have cancer. Um, so our goal is to make cancer something that um, you can get past, that you can get through, and um, have early detection, have the best treatment possible, have clinical trials that will continue to improve those treatments, uh, provide support after uh, cancer treatment for survivors through integrative health programs, reaching out to the community to um, really share the information that we have and help educate people about the importance of screening. Uh, one of the things I'd say that has happened during the COVID pandemic is there has been a bright light shown on health disparities. Many of us knew that was occurring before, but more people now are aware of that. And so there is an opportunity for us to do even more to really focus our energy on educating um, folks in the community about not only about cancer, but we've also had on a weekly basis, our cancer center director, Dr. Rob Wynn, has been hosting Faith and Facts and Faith Fridays every Friday afternoon since the pandemic started with faith leaders in the community to really share information about cancer and COVID and give the latest information that can be shared with their community. So I think there are a lot, there's a lot more to uh, Massey Cancer Center than a lot of people realize and we are really invested in the community and um, we appreciate the community investing in us. 